Uh, my name is Curtis Singmaster. I currently live in Providence, Rhode Island, and I'm a mixed media artist. Originally, I was an environmental science major in school, so I wasn't always an artist. I, I grew, my dad is an artist, so I sort of grew up around it. Um, and I eventually got into it halfway through my undergraduate. Um, but what stuck, I, I ended up teaching art afterwards in high school. Um, and I think that's ultimately what, being able to teach art, being able to see other people get excited about it, um, being able to see them develop, not just as artists, but you know, as students themselves over four years in high school, is, um, it kept me excited about art. Um, early, my early work is very tactile based. I used to, I do, used to do a lot of weaving, um, a lot of joinery, a lot of woodwork. Um, so I like the tactile aspect of, um, I like being involved with my hands. Um, but I also, in the last couple of years, got into using a lot of found objects. And I found a humor in, at least in the process of really diving in and teaching myself a very old, time-based, time-consuming process and using it in a manner or a fashion that is kind of obsolete to some extent. I mean, it doesn't really work. The upholstery also came, I used to work therapeutic crisis intervention a long, long time ago. And I always, there is that instant, and there's padded rooms. And there's that instant when you walk into a room where the ceilings are padded, which I never forgot. And <clears throat> I found that very interesting, dealing with fabric or cushioning sort of from the shoulders up. Uh, my current piece here at UICA is titled Family Portrait. Um, it is a combination of two different processes I work in, very sort of tactile based process and a found object process. So you're viewing these picnic tables um, looking up and so you're viewing the underside. There's five different tables, more or less all the same size, some of them vary in size, um, and they're all upholstered in different fabrics. Also, there's the, the title, Family Portrait itself, sort of acts as, as a conceptual trigger. So I guess the idea that these things um, are very similar in some sense, um, but at the same time, formally, they're very different. Um, also, I find a lot of humor in the fact that there's this very tactile old process of upholstery, and it's used in a very ambiguous but obsolete manner. I mean, people a lot of times, you know, put on dress up to go to the art gallery and they expect to see art. I like the idea of people tripping over it. So that's sort of, yeah, I do a lot of things that exist in alleyways. I've, I've rebuilt walls with, you know, custom made sponges that are the same size as bricks. So there's sort of this moment where people stop and walk back and, yeah, it's sort of a break from the everyday. I mean, my art is a big extension of who I am. I honestly enjoy doing it. And I think the teaching is a huge part of it because I'm able to share that with people. So I get a lot back from it. I mean, I follow my gut a lot. And a lot of times it's wrong in the art world, but at the same time, it's very applicable to the real world itself. When I was in graduate school, I was, actually, I was the guy that would get up around five in the morning and go, I do a lot of things in the streets when things were really quiet. Um, a lot of my ideas would come to me. I'd ride my bike to school, walking in and out of the alleys throughout Providence. Um, in this park, there's a family of picnic tables, which in reality, the picnic tables to bring a family together. But I like the idea that no one goes to this park that I walk it to. So it's, there's sort of this pathetic pile or family of picnic tables that gather there. So I always thought, oh, there's the family of picnic tables that families never go to. Yeah, if that makes any sense.